Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? We're back again here in our 8x8 plot world doing another 8x8 build. And today, we're doing this really awesome tiny little stable you see right behind me. It's very Viking inspired too, which is really, really cool. Let me flip though. Let me show you guys what we got. And there you go. Check that out. Let's take a little spin. Oh man, this was so much fun to make. Also with a Viking style. I haven't done one of these styles in a very long time, but I love this roof style. It's a lot of fun to make, but it's super simple too, and it fits completely here within the 8x8 frame. But you know what? Let's get this started with some of the block palette. And this is all you're going to be needing for the block palette. So we got some stripped dark oak, some regular dark oak, some oak stairs, slabs, trap doors, some spruce trap doors, fences, gates, and buttons. And that's it. All right, and here we go with the dimensions, eight by eight. The rules are simple. We can only build within the eight by eight. We can't do any overhangs and nothing outside of this little build plate here. And it's perfect for Minecraft Earth. So if you can build the little orange stable in Minecraft Earth, you're good to go. So let's actually start right here on this corner of the eight by eight. So technically this is the eight by eight frame. Take it in by one. So we're gonna go right here up with our dark oak log by six. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, and six. Give it a space of one, two, three, four and on the fifth one up again by six now here one two three four and on the fifth one again up by six and we're going to go all the way to this corner repeat that giving a little space so we have a four spacer in between each log on the bottom and then we're up by six so next thing we're going to do we're going to do cross beams but we're going to do the cross beam on this section the fifth line so one two three four and five on the fifth one i'm going to go all the way around and cross beam all the way this way and all the way back this direction so from here Right in the front of this beam, in the front of this stable, we're gonna go up by one and two on this side. Also on this beam, go up one and two. And then we're gonna surround this beam right here with just a one all the way around, like so. Repeat it on this side, so surround that beam with a one all the way around, like so. Same thing on this side. So beam in this in this corner, <laughs> one on this side, one on this side. But in the back, we're gonna do the same thing we did in the front, so one and two on that back side. So again, one and two, one on each side, just like so. Then we're gonna grab our uh, oak stairs and just face it downwards right here on all of the logs we just placed, going all the way around. And then once we set that, oh, you messed up right there. Once we set this up, we're gonna go ahead and put some fencing and I'll show you exactly where to set that up. So we got that ready to go, just like that. Now, right here in the front, we're gonna put two fence gates so you can come in by the front and you can also go out by the back with fence gates on both ends. Now, right here on the side, we're gonna put some trap doors. So right in this corner, we're gonna put a row of oak trap doors like so and lift them up. Also gonna put some spruce right here on top and lift those up. So we have ourselves a little wall on this end. Now let's repeat that over here, really, really simple. So a row of our oak trap doors and then a row of our spruce trap doors. Lift them up and close them up just like so. Then next up, let's grab some fences. We're gonna put spruce fences on this corner and this corner, and then gates in the middle. And then right underneath this, we're gonna put some of our uh, spruce trap doors and line it up just like so. Now we're gonna repeat this on every single corner. All right, so it should look like this going all the way around. And I love that, it gives you a little bit of extra detail right underneath those beams. Now, next up, let's do a little bit of roof detail. So starting on this side, so on the side where we put these trap doors, uh, we're gonna go right up here, grab our stripped dark oak log and go up one right here, go up two on this one and two in the center, and then one more over here. Then we're gonna grab the same dark oak log, the non-stripped kind, put one on top, two on top of that, and then one on top of this one, giving you this look. Now, let's repeat that over here, we'll do it together. So we're gonna go up one, one, two, one, two, and one. And then layer on top of these, the regular dark oak, just like so. All right, now let's work on this roof. So for the roof right here, let's actually start on this log right here, which is one above this stair. So one log, and then right here, we're gonna put this one facing downwards. We're gonna put an upside down stair on this end, overhanging, and we're still within the eight by eight, so we're doing pretty good. Then right here, we're gonna put this one also upside down. We're gonna put these two facing downwards that are right directly in the center. This one is an upside down, facing down, and an upside down, just like so. So once we get to this section, the next step is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put an upside down stair facing this direction, just like so. Then this one is also gonna go upside down. This one's also gonna face this direction. This one is also upside down. This one's gonna face this direction. And then once we get to here, we're gonna put this one facing upside down here. 
and this one's upside down right here. Now, once we have that set up, this one we're gonna put it facing this direction, and then this one facing that direction, so we get the little Viking peak there, which is really, really cool. And then we're gonna pretty much repeat this on this side. So let's go back down this way. This one's going upside down this direction. This one's gonna go upside down here, looking like so. This one is gonna go upside down on this direction. This one's gonna face upside down here. And then one more time, upside down this direction. And this is gonna go upside down here. So it's gonna look like this from this side. So let's go ahead and repeat this same style going over here. So why not just start from this side too? So remember, this is facing downwards right above this little gap. This one's facing downwards here, upside down, upside down, and then two facing down like so. We're gonna repeat that one over here and put this one upside down. So, so far so good, looking like so. Then let's just repeat that side over here. So remember, upside downs on both of these here and here. We're gonna go upside down right on this edge, upside down on this edge, upside down facing this way and this way. So like so. Back again, upside down here, upside down here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> then two upside downs on each end, upside downs again on each of these. And then last but not least, facing this direction and this direction with our stairs. And it should look something like that, which is really, really cool. Now the next bit of detail, we're gonna go with a slab right here on this side, slab here on this side, and then two of our oak trap doors, and that's your little lining on this end. So let's repeat that on the other side. So right here on the other side, slab, slab, and two trap doors on that end right there. All right, now to fill in this middle section. So for the middle section, we're gonna pretty much do upside downs following this row. So upside down here, upside down on this section, then upside down here. Now, don't worry about those little gaps in the middle. We'll fill those out in a second. So let's come back this way, upside down, upside down here, and another upside down there. And then these face downwards like so. So all down right on the top, just like so. Then another thing we're gonna do is grab some of our spruce trap doors and put them right on top of these exposed logs right here, going all the way around, just like so. And then let's come back over here and repeat it. So we'll do it together. So remember, upside downs, connecting these right, oop, right about, oh, hello, I did it two times, it's fine. Upside down going all the way up like so, upside down going all the way up like so, and then facing down here, here, and on this section. And then right here on the top, watch this. This is what we're gonna do. Let's grab some slabs. So I'm gonna put two slabs here and two slabs right here. And then we're also gonna put trap doors again on this side and this side. So you can keep those gaps there if you want, but I'm gonna close them off. And this is how we're gonna do it. Super simple. Just grab our stairs and go upside down this direction, upside down here. Also repeating, doing upside downs on these right here. And that's how you close up the top, just like so. Now we're almost done, the tiniest bit of detail. I put a couple buttons here wrapped around on the top part right before the roof starts to give it a little bit of support. And it looks like kind of there's nails here uh, going through from wherever the fences and fence gates are. So that's pretty cool. When we're done though with the actual building, but let me show you some details you could do to make this a little prettier. So we can actually do some stuff going all the way around here so we can get rid of uh, that little wool block here, but we can add some coarse dirt in here, maybe even a little bit of podzol, uh, maybe even a little bit of gravel going in like so. And we could texture this a little bit. So let's come down here and just add that podzol, that coarse dirt something like this just randomize it doesn't have to be in any specific location uh, you can even add a little bit of, um, of spruce on the inside here we just put some upside down stairs it don't matter uh, even leaving some grass is fine as well uh, I like adding a little bit of the granite in here too it gives you a nice little bit of contrast inside uh, but yeah something like that you could even add uh, some path blocks as well and that adds to that detail uh, so maybe just in the center bits just to show this like the most walked about area now, for these little two corners here, I used this one of them for a little watering trough, and this is super simple. Watch this, just put some stairs facing inwards like so, and then grab ourselves our trap doors, put those against that. Then we can water log these two, and that's a little watering trough there. On this end, we can go ahead and put some hay, right? So let's put some hay right here up against that, and then we can grab some trap doors. Actually, I want these trap doors right there. There we go. And then we can have a little bit uh, of a uh, hayloft here. Uh, we can even add a little bit of hay on this side. Uh, just be careful that, I don't think they can get through anyways just because we have that, but just be, uh, be uh, you know, mindful in case and they find a way out, especially the little baby ponies, all right? So something like this looks pretty good. Now, on the top here, if uh, you're on Minecraft Earth, I don't believe you have the ability to do this. Uh, you could drop some lanterns on the top. If you're on uh, 114, you could do this, uh, which looks pretty cool on top, just like so, a little chandelier. 
If not, I'll just put a couple torches here to scatter in certain spots, uh, and that would be just fine. You can even add the torches on top of some corner bits here, and let me show you little ways around it. Uh, so you can put maybe a torch on this side, a torch on that side, and you're pretty lit up, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, also, on the outside bit, you could add an anvil, uh, and that should be fine. You can even add a little bit uh, of just... Uh, some bushes, some grass, some flowers, uh, something like this will be pretty good. On this side, you can't really put anything, so I might just sneak in here, maybe a little bit of puzzle, a little bit of gravel, maybe a, a granite here. Uh, on this one, maybe a little bit more bush action, and just come back out this direction, just add a couple little bits of detail, like so. And you can even add a little crafting bench and a chest on the outside for extra storage, that should be just fine. Also, another thing you can do if you don't want to have the torches on the inside, you can get rid of these here, you can add them on the outside, so maybe a couple walls, and then maybe a couple torches on top of them, just like so. And that also would be another option, but just make sure you get rid of these things and add a little bit more detail, uh, some grass and stuff like that, and you should be good to go. Uh, even on the inside, you can add uh, some a uh, little bit of grass on a couple spots here. That should be fine, just make sure you close it up, because if not, um, your horses are gone. But that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. This was so much fun to make. I love me a good little horse stable, especially in this style. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more horse stables, different style variations. And let me know if you want to see any other 8x8 style builds. What are we missing? I got a list. I got a long list. Uh, but let me know what you guys think and what you want to see next in an upcoming one. We can even uh, maybe remodel that village later on with all of our builds together. What do you guys think? Oh, man. All right. So I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye. Thank you.